Hello everyone. With this video, I would like to show you the channel scan feature of Wolf Wi-Fi. So let's get started. We have the option to channel scan. And when you take that option, you come into the, the main channel scan uh, screen. And when it comes up by default, it comes up to the 2.4 gigahertz radios in their channels or I mean, broadcasts. First thing you'll notice that we have the range from minus 100 all the way up to zero, and that the channels that uh, the device can see will start filling in the particular channel scans or channel spans that they, they have. And if you'll notice here, then we've got channel one reporting in. We've got some um, APs that are on channel six, and then we have uh, one that's reporting on channel 11. You'll notice this is real time, this is not static. So as you move about or as you run this particular part of the app, you're going to see these updated real time. So if you move closer to one or move further away from a particular access point or if you move through a, a building or a business, you're going to see this dynamically change all the time. And if you'll notice also that if you have multiple access points that are broadcasting on the same channel, you'll see the multiple lines that show up to indicate in this particular case we have two that are transmitting on channel one and also two that on channel six. You'll also know that they, as they overlap or not, one thing you'll notice is that the, the center of the graph as it measures is actually represents the channel that it, it overlays. Okay. The next thing that we do is we also show you the details of the SSID that's being broadcast in association with these particular um, graphs. And what will happen is as more will pour in on the particular channel, it will continue to add those across the screen so that you can see what those are associated with. The other thing that you can do in order to find more details about who's broadcasting on these particular channels is that you can tap in the center and it will uh, pop a dialog up for you to see. So I can see that this particular SID is uh, bridge and the, the SSID, the BSSID, the security frequency and the DDM and then the next one that was in there, uh, the SID as well as the other details of that. There was a particular long list where a lot of access points were broadcasting on that particular channel then you can scroll up and down in that particular list. All right. And if I want to investigate what's going on over here in channel 11, I can do that. Now, if you'll notice too, let me close this, the dot that's at the top bar for this particular channel, that means that we are actively attached to this access point that's broadcasting on channel 11. So whenever I tap on that, then I'll also see the IP address. I will see the uh, other details that are associated with an access point that I happen to be uh, connected with on that network. The other thing that we can do is if your device happens to uh, allow you to receive on uh, not only the 2.4 but the 5 gigahertz then you can tap on the 5 gigahertz icon and then let it cycle through and then any of the uh, access points that are also broadcasting that will show. So the graph will re reconfigure itself for those particular channels. In this, this instance, we've got an access point that's on uh, channel 48 or 5240. I can tap on that, and it will show me the details of that. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, thank you for your time.